Now we'll demonstrate the performance of a surge test with partial discharge monitoring. So from the surge screen, we'll want to go and click on the PD icon, and that will turn green, indicating that it's turned on. And we'll see four boxes uh, get drawn here in the lower left-hand corner for partial discharge inception voltage, partial dis uh, repetitive partial discharge inception voltage, repetitive partial discharge extinguished voltage, and partial discharge extinguished voltage. So we'll perform the surge test very similar to the, the surge video that we, that we have for you. Um, we still need to push the push to test button to initiate the test. Okay, and then you, ha you have your uh, slow ramp and fast ramp. I'm gonna select the fast ramp. And then you have these, these range um, scale settings similar to the, sur the normal surge test. And get those so that your waveform uh, takes up the screen. Um, and then you have two new scales that you can actually scale in on the actual partial discharge activity. Typically, we like to have this on a scale, the lowest scale, which is indicated by this one right there. Uh, this locking scales has the ability to lock the scales together. So it will push the partial discharge scale out to whatever the selected surge scale is going to be. All right, so our scales are set and we're ready to ramp. We'll go ahead and increase the, the test voltage. Again, just like we did for the normal surge test. And what we're looking for now, a little bit different, is the in that partial discharge inception voltage and, part, and repetitive partial discharge inception voltage to populate. So we'd ramp our surge test normally as we were doing a surge test all the way to test voltage, but making note of those voltages along the way. Okay, so there's the partial discharge inception voltage and the repetitive voltage. I'm gonna go ahead and stop ramping there. And now I'm gonna ramp it down. And you can see immediately the extinguished voltage populated. And we're gonna to continue to ramp until that partial discharge extinguished voltage goes completely away and the voltage is at a minimum then we can stop the test. And now we would proceed on to lead two. So I'll select lead two, and then I would perform the test in exactly the same way. And that would do the same thing for lead three. Upon completion of all three phases, I wanna make sure I click the save button, and I'll save the data to either the active folder and record, or I could create a new folder and record. So I'm just gonna select the active, and we're done.